Any dog owner knows that our furry friends often engage in some truly peculiar behaviors, whether it's sniffing behinds, trailing you into the bathroom, or tilting their heads while you talk, these actions can be quite baffling to us humans. But there are logical reasons behind each of these strange habits. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating explanations for these behaviors. Let's kick off with one that has surely caught your eye at some point. Kicking the grass after doing their business. Although it might seem like they're trying to bury their waste, that's not the case. Dogs do this to release pheromones from glands in their paws, marking their territory and sending signals to other dogs. This behavior helps them communicate their presence, assert dominance, and share information about their age, health, and stress levels. Both males and females participate in this scent marking ritual to ensure their message is noticed. Your dog wants other dogs to know that this is his area. Rolling in smelly things. When your dog rolls in smelly things like dead animals or poop, it's doing more than just playing. This behavior, inherited from their wild ancestors, was used to mask their scent to avoid detection by predators and sneak up on prey. Even though your dog doesn't need to hunt now, this instinct remains. Rolling in smelly things can also help them leave their mark for other dogs to notice. Sometimes it's simply an attempt to get rid of a scent they don't like, like shampoo after a bath. Another reason dogs might roll in unpleasant things is to bring the scent back to their pack as a way of sharing information. It's like they're saying, hey, look what I found. This behavior can also be a way for dogs to communicate with each other, as the new scent might indicate where they've been or what they've encountered. Also, rolling in strong odors can be a form of self-expression for dogs. Just like humans might wear a favorite perfume, dogs might enjoy adopting a new scent they find interesting or enjoyable. This instinctual behavior, while baffling to us, makes perfect sense in the canine world. Tilting their head. Seeing your dog tilt their head when you're talking to them is both funny and adorable. Researchers are still trying to figure out exactly why dogs do this. One theory suggests that head-tilting dogs might be more sensitive and closely bonded with their owners. Dogs also have excellent hearing, and this behavior might help them pick up on specific words. For instance, many dogs only tilt their heads for certain high-value words like dinner or walk. It also allows them to get a better view of our facial expressions, helping them understand what we're communicating. So when your dog tilts their head, they're trying to gather as much information as possible to understand their surroundings and your emotions better. They're not just being cute, they're working hard to connect with you and make sense of what you're saying. Eating non-food items. Many dogs have a habit of eating non-food items like sticks, rocks, socks, and even poop. This condition, known as pica, can stem from various reasons. It might be due to a medical issue, nutritional deficiencies, anxiety, boredom, or if you have a puppy, it could be because they're teething. Aside from the risk of destroying your favorite belongings, many items dogs eat can be unsuitable or dangerous. These can cause intestinal obstructions, leading to severe complications that require emergency surgery. If you notice your dog engaging in this behavior, it's a good idea to consult with your vet. Together, you can determine the underlying cause and develop a plan to keep your pup safe and healthy. Digging in their bed. If you've ever watched your dog dig around or walk in circles before settling down in their bed, you're seeing a natural instinct at work. This behavior is their way of nesting and finding comfort before they sleep. Just like humans fluff pillows and arrange blankets, dogs want a cozy spot. This nesting behavior helps them feel secure and comfortable. Also, if your dog is feeling stressed or anxious, digging can serve as a stress relief mechanism. The act of digging might release feel-good chemicals in their brain helping them to relax and feel better. For example, this is why they suddenly dig out their beds after being scolded for doing something wrong. So, whether it's about making a perfect sleeping spot or alleviating stress, your dog's digging behavior is quite similar to our bedtime routines. It might look or sound strange, but it's all about comfort and well-being. Barking at mirrors. One amusing yet puzzling behavior is when dogs bark at mirrors. When a dog encounters a mirror for the first time, they might mistake their reflection for another dog. This is especially common in puppies who are still exploring their surroundings. They might bark and try to play with their mirror image. However, not all dogs react the same way. Some might ignore their reflection altogether. The mirror test, used to assess self-awareness in animals, involves recognizing oneself in a mirror. While some animals, like chimpanzees and dolphins, pass this test, dogs generally do not. 
Studies suggest that dogs don't realize they are looking at themselves. This doesn't mean dogs lack self-awareness. They simply rely more on scent than visual cues, making their reflection less significant to them. Circling before pooping. Why do dogs circle before pooping? There are a few theories. One idea is that by trampling around in a circle, dogs flatten the grass to prevent tall blades from touching their bottoms while they do their business. Another explanation is that they are scanning for predators and snakes before getting into a vulnerable position. By circling, dogs tamp down the grass and chase away bugs, creating a clean spot. This also allows them to get a clear view of their surroundings to ensure there are no threats nearby. Of course, if your dog is pacing excessively, it might be a sign of constipation, and a visit to the vet could be necessary. Following you to the bathroom. Many dogs like to follow their owners everywhere, including the bathroom. They might even scratch at the door while you're in there. Dogs are social animals and enjoy human company. As their owner, you meet most of their needs, including affection. So following you is a sign of attachment. They might also be waiting for a routine they enjoy, like a walk or dinner time. As long as your dog gets plenty of exercise, enrichment activities, and mental stimulation, this following behavior isn't a problem. However, if it becomes annoying, it's important not to reward them with attention or treats. If your dog suddenly starts following you more, it could be a sign they are feeling insecure due to a change such as aging, afraid of something like a thunderstorm, or unwell. In such cases, your veterinarian can help address these concerns. Stealing your stuff. Ever wonder why your dog keeps stealing your stuff? It might be annoying, but they're doing it out of love. Your dog might snatch your socks because they adore your scent, or they grab your underwear, knowing you'll chase them, turning it into a fun game. It's similar to how kids tease someone they like because they're not sure how else to show affection. So, your dog's thievery is just their unique way of bonding with you and seeking your attention. Staring at you when they poop. Ever wondered why your dog sometimes stares at you while they poop? It might seem strange, but there's a reason behind it. Dogs feel vulnerable when they go, so they might be staring at you for comfort or to ensure you're watching out for predators. Another possibility is that you unknowingly trained them to do this. During potty training, you likely rewarded your pup for going outside. They associated looking at you with getting a treat, and this habit stuck with them. Also, this behavior can be a sign of trust. Your dog looks to you as their pack leader, expecting you to be vigilant. Over time, this act of staring becomes ingrained as a comforting routine for them. Sniffing your butts. Let's be honest, dogs love sniffing behinds, whether it's other dogs, cats, or even humans. While this may seem odd, it's actually a way for dogs to gather essential information. When your dog sniffs another dog's behind, they're not just saying hello. They're learning about the other dog's mood, if they know each other and whether the other dog is a potential mate. Interestingly, this behavior extends to humans too. If your dog sniffs your behind, they're picking up details through the pheromones from your apocrine glands. For dogs, this area works like a personal ID card, revealing who you are and how you're doing. If a family dog has been away for a while, sniffing their butt helps your dog catch up on where they've been, what they've eaten, and what they've been up to. Similarly, if you've been away from your dog for a few hours or more, they might sniff your behind to understand where you went and if everything is okay. This act also helps them calm down and reduce the stress of being apart from you. Fascinating, right? Here ends our video for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.